The Atlanta Hawks were the first team to be eliminated this year, and we are going to fix that. There's a lot of speculation on if this is Trey Young or DeJounte Murray's team, if Trey Young is going to come back next year. Well, we are here to solve these questions and deliver the Atlanta Hawks that first championship since 1958. Yes, since the plumber ball era. It's been a while. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to make this as realistic as possible, we are jumping in right in from start from today. Like, this is very realistic. We got the Thunder and Bucks in the finals. Bucks win in six. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but it's 2K. So where does this team stand? Well, that's a great question. As you can see, the Hawks got cut of quite a few lottery type picks going on here, and they actually jumped to the fourth pick, so I'll take that. I'm actually going to run right over to the NBA draft, and we're going to get ourselves a prospect that can help this team going forward, and uh, there's actually some nice people in this draft class, like Mr. Ron Holland. I am a Ron Holland fan, and this team is lacking wings. This team does not have a lot of good wings, so Ron Holland, welcome to the squad. That's step one. The next step is, what are we going to do about Trey Young? So center-wise, this team isn't bad. Power forward could be a little better. See, I'm fine with this being DJ's team, like, just Trey Trading Trey Young for maybe like a two for one type deal, get like a decent point guard and another player, and just have DJ be the number one guy, which is definitely something to think about. I'm just gonna throw Trey Young out there and see what he could potentially get us. And if Chris Middleton wasn't in his 30s, bro, like I would actually consider this. I'm not gonna lie. Same with Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal, this is a few years ago, I would definitely do this. Now, this trade helps us out a lot in a lot of different areas. I'd have to get rid of Bogey though, and I don't know if I wanna do that. Like Fred Van Vliet would be a nice replacement, and we get Amon Thompson, who's an up and comer. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I found the right, uh, the correct right-hand man uh, to go next to DeJounte Murray. The only thing is, though, I get this, I'm not getting a point guard out of this, so let's see if I can rework this a little bit. Instead of Jalen McDaniels, who do y'all got for point guards? Nobody. We got nobody at point guard. Okay, so that poses a problem. I mean, see, like, what's the point of a trade like this right here? Like, why would I just do a, a point guard swap? You know what I mean? Very young, first round pick. We'll throw that out, see what that gets us. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this trade right here absolutely improves our team. The only problem is, um, I'd have to, like, gun to win a championship this year because Evan Mobley's contract contract is expiring. I also don't see a world where the Cavs do this trade. Like the Cavs are, the, they're competing for a championship, bro. Like why would they do that? I know the Bulls talk about getting rid of Zach Levine in the future. I don't know if they'd include Kobe White in that deal. I kind of doubt that. But honestly, in terms of winning a championship, if I could add these two guys in with DeJounte Murray, honestly, man, that's uh, kind of a squad, dude. I might have to do that. Like I said, I was looking for that great two for one deal and that's the way to go, man. Let's get that done. I'll run Zach Levine at the three. Kobe White's obviously the one. I'll see if I can sign anybody else to kind of help the team out. I'll bring in John Wall as a veteran backup point guard. Fine with me. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be a very quick rebuild because I am very confident about the squad that I just put together. I got Trey Young out of here, which is something that has been in talks. Zach Levine got out of Chicago. It's a win for everybody, honestly. Like, this is a nice looking team, dude. Like, the starting five is nice. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is the center situation. Kung Wu's a little inconsistent. Capella can be inconsistent as well, so I might have to re-explore for a center, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. We got the Rook getting 16 minutes a game. I'm liking that. John Wall is gonna help us out off the bench. It's a very balanced team, and I like it. First game of the season is against the Wizards, and a mass it's a massive win. Kobe White with 22 in his debut, Zach Levine with 22 also in his debut. Next game is against the Pacers. That that's gonna be a little more challenging of a game, and we lose to them. Zach Levine had 30 though. Okay, so we're gonna run it to the trade deadline and see how we're doing. See if we need to make any moves. I do think I'm gonna need to get that center. Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the expression "If it ain't broke, don't fix it"? Well, I think we are very much in that position right now because we are the second best team in ball. 37 and 13 is absolutely insane. Everybody is playing fantastic. Everybody on the team is doing their part. I mean, to only lose 13 games up to this point is insane. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to take a look at the contract extensions just in case we don't win the championship this year. I will absolutely bring Zach Levine back. We want him a part of this core for as long as possible because I do believe we have a core going that can absolutely win a title within a year or two. Just out of my own curiosity, Trey Young in Chicago, his first year in Chicago out of Atlanta. Hey, he's hooping. I, I give Trey credit, man. He's doing his thing. And Luka wins MVP, ladies and gentlemen. No surprise there. He does it in every day simulation but our guy Quinn Snyder gets coach of the year so I will take that 62 and 20 beautiful and we are undoubtedly the one seed in the Eastern Conference ladies and gentlemen we got the eight seeded Celtics ain't that about a bitch Celtics are looking the same they're ready to compete that's a damn good eight seed ladies and gentlemen so let's see how this goes I'm gonna simulate the round and assume that we get out the first round oh my god oh my god thank god we won oh but we won by eight in game seven I actually almost blew that like I could have jumped in to watch that but hey we took it man DeJounte Murray shout out to him I did say this was his team going forward and even with Zach Levine here it is absolutely still Gijante's team. Pacers are a W squad as well. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna go game by game here and be smart. Game one is us and then game two is the Pacers. Game three is the Pacers. Game four is us thank god. Game five pivotal goes to the Pacers. I, I never win the, the pivotal games. I don't know why. We are not at home. We are on the road uh, ladies and gentlemen so hopefully we can snag a win here and go to game seven. Another game seven right in a row and yep we're gonna easily do it here and we put up 138 on them. DJ and Zach Levine did their thing and we are in game seven. 
and win here, we go to the conference finals. The Hawks haven't been to the conference finals since like the Horford, Millsap, Jeff Teague days. Like those were, that was an inch. Oh my God, this is a close game. I am absolutely jumping in to make sure we snag this win. 23 seconds. We're playing the foul game the rest of the way. So if we can hit a couple free throws, first of all, get the ball in. And we do. Indiana did have a foul to give though. So they're going to have to foul again. And it's going to get into DJ and he's going to take two free throws. All right, DJ, show me what you got, buddy. There we go. Oh, gee, oh my God. He's selling. He's actually selling. Nah, nah. Okay, okay. He made the second one. Thank you. Tyrese Halliburton with the ball and he is driving to the back. Oh, he lost it. He freaking lost it. And it's going to be stolen. Picked up by Kobe White on the drive. And that is most likely going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Unless the Pacers get a quick three here. Benedict Matherin puts it. Ah, he drills it. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? And we're going to have to. The, the Pacers have a chance no matter what here, ladies and gentlemen. So it should be interesting. And here come the Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton is on his way down. Last stitch effort for the Pacers. He passes it out to Ty again. And it is no good. And the Hawks are going to move on to the conference finals. This is the year, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it. We're almost there. This could actually be the fastest rebuild I've ever done. And uh, I've done a lot of them. In some ways, somehow, the seven-seeded New York Knicks are here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, I'm here for it. An interesting-looking Knicks team over there. Game one is a Hawks win. Game two is a Knicks win. Game three is a Knicks win. Game four is a, is a Hawks win. Okay, game five is a Hawks win, ladies and gentlemen. Finish it out in seven or six. Sorry, I'm so dumb. Shout out Kobe White and DJ. Actually, that was a really well-rounded team win, so I will take it. And the Thunder made quick work of the three-seeded. The Warriors are back? The Warriors are back, ladies and gentlemen. They were the three-seed this year, and they were actually making another title run with Curry. Well, I uh, found where OG and Unobi went. Uh, <laughs> He is a member of the OKC Thunder who are ready for their first championship. But this Hawks team is here, man. Here we go. Oh, my not, sim not simulating round. That's the wrong button. Well, we're up two to one nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> DeJounte Murray with 30. All right. The finals is going good. Game th four is going to be the Thunder. Game five is going to be the Thunder. We were just up three to two or two to one. I, I can't think. What is wrong? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if we can just get past the Thunder on their home turf, we can go back home for a game seven and seal the deal. I'm feeling pretty good about the squad that I have put together. I don't need another season. We're doing this now. And this is a battle, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Yeah, we are in a position where we could lose right now, but we're up five. We just went up. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go. 31 from Zach Levine. That's why I got him here, man. Game seven. It all comes down to this. Our home floor. Let's see what happens. And we are on a monster run right now, but the Thunder are trying to battle back. They are not going away. Not going away at all, ladies and gentlemen. I am jumping in to make sure we win this game. Three-point lead. Thunder with the ball. This is basically their last chance. Into Shea. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for the right shot. They are trying to tie it, dude. This is a winner go home situation. 12 seconds to go. Shea just pulls off. I didn't think he was going to pull and he, he makes it. Shea is literally him. He's just, he's always been him. 10 seconds to go. This is for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Here we go. DeJounte Murray. I put this team in your hands, dude. I got you the help, but here we go. Three seconds. DeJounte Murray on the drive for the win. For the championship, DeJounte Murray. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That shot is not going to go. It almost did. And DeJounte Murray delivers the Atlanta Hawks in their first championship since freaking Vietnam. There's the man of the hour right there, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Levine in on the parade. And then we got Kobe White. So happy I brought these guys together, man. What a squad. I'm so happy for this Hawks team. Atlanta Hawks fans, you are welcome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Other than that, guys, it has been Teebs. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all very soon.